Well, here we are again. Ha ha! It's happy apple time. I don't remember ordering anything, which means I might be getting some timer's disease. What do you think? Got my blade. I don't even know where I got this. I think this might have belonged to my wife Betsy's dad way back in the day because this is an old pocket knife. This is what they would call a manicure knife. It's got a little pen knife in it. It also has a little nail file sort of uh, nail cleaner in it and a little pair of scissors. Yeah, it works for opening boxes when I get a happy yappo. Yabo. I have no idea because I can't read the return address label. Watch, I'm going to cut my finger right off. You'll see it right here on camera. You will. If I cut my finger off, you're going to see it first. All right. Well, looks like I didn't. Close up the knife. What's in the box? We don't know. Okay, it's a, one of those cheesy little pipe stands that I've come to associate with Mr. Brog. And, uh... Swedish or Czech pipe tool. Swedish pipe tool. The Swedish pipe tool. No, Czech pipe tool. Oh, those fun loving Czechies. For all of you who speak Czech, I want a Vikoshit. Well, and a pipe. Um, yet another Bragi. Oh, wow. Huge bowl on this one compared to the other brogs I have. Uh, rusticated sort of bowl, or I don't know, maybe you'd call that even a sandblast. Oh, there it is. What do you think? It's very brogalicious. Cool. Now, why am I buying so many brog pipes? Because I love them, for one thing. But also, guys... I am going to be doing yet another superb contest slash giveaway very shortly here. You will like it. I am giving away uh, a couple of nice Brog pipes for the pipe smokers. And I've got a Schmalzler flask and some Delacchia Swiss chocolate I think I'll be giving away to the snuffing people. Snuffing people. Well, so there's that. But you see, it's a double yabo. Yapo yabo. And I'm very surprised because, again, I don't remember ordering this much stuff. But I can tell you, this is another broad pipe. I can tell by the feel of it. No knife needed. That's not an envelope. This is an envelope. There's a packing slip. Nothing else in there. More dead trees. And let's take a look at this bad boy. Well, that's very strange. Packed in there, kind of weird. Ah, it's almost the same style of pipe. In a bent, smooth finish. Now, this was one of those deals where... Um, I think I bid, I had too many auctions going and I lost track. So I don't have any idea how much I paid for this pipe, but my brogs have all arrived. There will be no more brogs anytime soon. Yeah, you know what? I don't feel too guilty. Uh, I could piss away this much money in a single evening just having beer in a bar. You know, and I wouldn't have that many beers. <laughs> it was just, you know, maybe uh, five beers and a plate of chicken wings, and that would cover the cost of both of these pipes. So, don't think it's a bad buy. Good. More broggies in my collection, more brogs to trade and or give away on contests. Very excited. I won't be uh, baptizing those pipes anytime soon because I already have several of the brogs going right now and I'm trying to break in. Uh, that's not what I'm smoking today. I'm actually smoking my Missouri Meerschaum Great Dane Spool, which is getting some real patina on it. 
I am turning into Mr. Patina, 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 Patina. Uh, <clears throat> this was a gift from Tom Callan <clears throat> over in England. Tom is a lurker. He's one of the smartest guys I know. He's a great guy. Nice man. Super friendly. We get along really well on Skype, but he lurks rather than posts to YouTube because he's a high school teacher and he doesn't want his students to know that he's a nicotine head, whatever. So He does not make videos. He kind of lives a private life. But we've become great friends thanks to YouTube and the Snuff and Pipe communities. So what a nice gift, huh? He said he didn't like it because the design of the spool bowl, and it does. I mean, your finger fits, look, my middle finger fits perfectly in that little concave there. It's great, except when you smoke the pipe fast, that thinner area where the spool concaves in, I don't even know what that's called, um, it gets hot. Um, so I can see where he didn't like it, but I love this pipe. I've already put another stem on it and a teething bit, because someday I will get my grown-up teeth. That's what I call those rubber softy bits now. I call them teething bits. Good name, right? Anyway, that's it for the Apple. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Another big shout-out and thank you to all my new subscribers. And... Uh, like to say a special hello to Hillman, uh, who is also a big fan of the Broad Pipes, uh, Skeletal Piper. By the way, if you haven't watched Skeletal Piper's channel, and why wouldn't you, you really need to. Uh, I understand the dude is very odd looking, but he's very smart. From the Dang Basement, I'm Paul. Thanks for watching.